Hello there! If you've seen my 2020 or 2021 makeup favourites videos, you might remember me raving about Danessa Myrick's Vision Flush, terrific tubes for cheeks, lips and eyes created by an expert makeup artist. I always say this is one of the most underrated multitasking makeup formulas on the market, so why not get to know it a bit better? I've been meaning to put the focus on this product for such a long time, so I'll be sharing why I love it so much and swatching all 12 colours. Hopefully it helps you find one for you. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing partnership with the website builder I use to make my blog, MatildaOnVideo.com. If you're new to multitasking makeup, let me bring you up to speed with a blog post with plenty of great multi-purpose blushes. These particular multitaskers have been in yearly favourites, as I mentioned, lip and cheek videos, everyday makeup, Sephora sale ideas, spring and summer edits, my best cream highlighter list, clearly something I bring up at every opportunity and at least one shade has lived in my daily makeup bag since I found them two years ago. If you haven't come across Danessa Myricks Beauty before, it's a black owned brand based in New York founded by Danessa Myricks, a makeup artist and photographer with 20 years of experience. She launched her brand back in 2015, beginning with a collection of highlighters for women of colour. Those dew wet balms are excellent. The range was always very popular in the pro makeup artist community, but it's captivated regular beauty lovers in recent years, launching at Sephora and Cult Beauty. Danessa's range is right up there with Fenty, leading the way with inclusive shades across her complexion products, colour cosmetics and multi-purpose products for every face, and an emphasis on glowy, radiant skin. Vision Flush was my single favourite product discovery back in 2020. There are a dozen shades, grouping them into three sections here, neutrals, bread and butter, ballet slippers, nutcracker and toasted almond, warmer, summery shades, tiara, a universal highlighter, sweet nectar, sunset and cherry bomb, and the brightest, boldest options, tutu, sugar plum, grape and black cherry. If this formula was on the front page of a newspaper, the headline would read, Silky Multitasker Stuns Cream Blush Community. The texture is something else. It's the most wonderfully natural, healthy looking hybrid. A super smooth satin finish, but still fresh enough to give you a glow and a hint of sheen at first, but somehow also slightly matte, so it really lasts the distance. I still notice it hours later and my skin usually drinks in blush. Long wearing, waterproof, cruelty free, certainly pigmented and punchy, but incredibly user friendly and easy to blend. If you like a colour blocked, unified look, you could start with the most colour on your lips, then spread the excess on your cheeks and eyes. But if you're like me, it's all about blush first, then I'll add a wash on the eyes and pat a little onto lips. Just wipe off the excess from the doe foot, then a couple of short swipes or dots blend seamlessly with a brush or your fingers. That's what I prefer. Nice and creamy but very lightweight, even a tiny bit velvety and whipped so it softens and creates a wonderful watercolour effect. Or you can build it up. A bit of a powdery, slightly floral scent, but I hadn't actually ever noticed it until I was doing a deeper dive for this video. There's also the tiniest, finest bit of glitter in each shade, but it's so microscopic it's really not noticeable. Let's meet them. 11 colours to suit all skin tones and one universal illuminator. Bread and Butter is called Natural Pink, sometimes Dusty Rose, Light Peachy Pink. Descriptions may vary, but one thing's for sure, this romantic, relaxed rose has been a constant in my makeup bag for well over a year. It was my most worn blush in 2021 for a wash of vintage antique pink. Ballet Slippers is described as rustic peach, and this shade is still my favourite. It was the reason I fell in love with the formula and my product of the year back in 2020. A rich, warm, deeper, peachy nude. Not a bright, light peach at all. It's the brand's most popular shade for very good reason. Nutcracker is called a muted caramel or a light cool brown, a cool toned contour like colour. Danessa also has an inclusive range of eight balm contours, or you could wear this one as a soft brown shadow. Sweep a bit in the hollows of your cheeks, then across the eye and brow bone to tie the look together. Toasted Almond is described as light mocha. If you're not a coffee drinker like me, less familiar with beverage shades, you'd call this a mid-tone chocolate brown maybe. Deeper, warmer and more toasty than Nutcracker. Note to self, need to try wearing this one as an eyeliner too. Just before we meet the rest of the colours, if this is your first introduction to multi-purpose makeup, 
probably not if you've watched my videos before, but you're in for a treat. Lots of options for you in previous content grouped together in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. I've been working with Squarespace for the past couple of years now. They were a website builder I first heard about through other creators, loved the really stylish look of their templates, and when I started designing my own, loved the easy features even more. If you've been thinking about setting up a website, blog, or online store, Squarespace offer a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Warming things up with this next summary group. Tiara is the special standalone highlighter in the Vision Flush family. It's described as golden sand, golden champagne, golden shimmer, you get the idea. Same formula so it blends and builds nicely. It doesn't set or dry down completely like some liquid highlighters, still gives you a nice sheen and the doe foot point is great for highlighting the inner corners of the eyes. Sweet Nectar is described as a bright coral or tangerine. This is vibrant, an instant sunglasses needed sunny orange, so fresh on the cheeks and eyes and lips in summer, getting much brighter from this point. So I remove more of the excess and just use very light layers to tone down the color. Sunset steps things up a notch. This is a deep blood orange or red orange, so fiery and fierce. It's almost a cherry red to me, even though there is a cherry shade coming next. No need to fear red blushes. It won't give you clown cheeks. More of a sunburnt summery flush when you shear it out. Cherry Bomb is a bombshell, a candy apple red, but I've also seen it described as bright red violet. I really like that because this has always seemed a bit more berry red than a true cherry to me. It starts to turn into purpley deep pink territory on me, a little more sheer and less creamy too. Diving into the brightest and deepest colors. Tutu is called bubblegum pink, vibrant fuchsia, hot pink. She's a bold baby pink to me, but she's wearable. Even the most intimidatingly bright shades like this work because the formula is so nice to work with. It could be a great pop of blush on deeper skin tones or a fun bright eye. Sugar Plum is described as Violet Orchid. Just from that, you picture this kind of energetic purple, don't you? This might as well be Tutu's mischievous grown-up sister. Both shades have big euphoria makeup energy for me, so you can be as creative and playful as you like. Grape takes the cake though. This is the most outgoing member of the party and the last person to leave the dance floor. Most brands don't even dare to enter this kind of vivid purple or berry jam area, but it's a beauty on deep skin tones. You can see it modeled on the Sephora website. Black Cherry finishes off the list as the deepest shade and we're back on more of a traditional berry path now. This is called Bordeaux Wine or a rich deep berry. These last two were a little thinner and not as creamy, that's understandable for darker colours, but that suits this sort of plummy berry stain. Tell me, which Vision Flush shades are you having visions of in your makeup bag after all of those swatches? Did a particular colour group speak to you or a single shade grab your attention? Have you tried any other Danessa Myricks products? So much more to explore. You can see a snapshot in a previous video. Please let me know if this formula was a new find today that intrigued you or if you're already a fan and can't stop swiping it on. Which colour's your favourite? Thanks for watching. See you next time.